Guess the riddle. What is the second planet in the solar system by distance from the sun? Scientists have put forward a stunning hypothesis. This planet was inhabited about 700 million years ago. But what is happening on the once living globe now? What is Venus hiding underneath? Scientists have found out and proved there was once life on Venus. Venus is the most dangerous planet in the solar system. On its surface, the temperature is 393 degrees Celsius. Agree, hot enough to melt lead. It is even hotter than the planet Mercury, closest to the sun. The atmosphere of Venus is acidic and dense, which hide the surface from the eyes contain concentrated sulfuric acid, strong enough to dissolve most of the metals used to make spaceships. That's awesome, just look at it. It is as thick as liquid water because the pressure on its surface is extremely high. 93 times more pressure than that of Earth's atmosphere. What would you say if you found out that water once existed on Venus? Just look at these terrible conditions. Magnetically attractive shots on one hand and deadly and dangerous on the other. Working together, heat, acid, and pressure allow only the strongest spaceships to survive on the surface of Venus. From 1962 to 1978, the United States of America sent as many as four landers to Venus for 12 years. What happened? Two of them flew by, the third crashed on the surface, and the fourth lived only one hour. From 1967 to 1985, the Soviet Union sent 10 spacecraft to the surface of Venus. All lived long enough to send home data to Earth, and none lived more than two hours. The photos sent to Earth show a rocky surface consisting of lava rock. Surprisingly, it was then that scientists found evidence that Venus was not always so dangerous. Riddles about what creatures live there, scientists are still trying to guess. But is it worth it? The conditions that we observe on Venus now from satellites make us hold our breath. This is a lifeless stone, volcanoes and a lot, a lot of carbon dioxide. The atmosphere of the planet and the pressure on its surface are incompatible with any form of life. Neither protein nor silicon can exist here. A good gift is the sulfur and methane rains that regularly irrigate the surface of the planet. After the expedition of the USSR in 1975, Venus 9 and Venus 10 and Venus 11 and Venus 12 were sent, but they were no longer able to capture the photo because the cameras were out of order. In March 1982, the USSR sent followers of the first expeditions Venus 13 and Venus 14. They were already equipped with two cameras and lo and behold, Russian scientists managed to see something. Is Venus really a lifeless stone? Volcanoes? on which it emits a huge amount of carbon dioxide, creating impossible conditions for life? The atmosphere of the planet and the pressure on its surface, sulfur and methane rains that regularly irrigate the planet, are incompatible with any form of life. That's what scientists thought until recently. And now, amazing scientific evidence has been found. Venus once had so much water that it was enough to form oceans. But why did Venus become so hot and lose its ocean? No one knows for sure, but many scientists are trying to understand why the climate of Venus has changed. A team of scientists led by Professor Jane Greaves of Cardiff University managed to make an incredible breakthrough. They discovered a substance on the planet, phosphine, phosphane hydrate, PH3. This is an extremely rare and poisonous gas. On Earth, phosphane is produced by lightning strikes and as a result of volcanic activity. But what the hell does this all mean? The sensational hypothesis of astronomers claims that phosphane in such quantities can be obtained as a result of the vital activity of bacteria living in an oxygen-free environment. Unbelievable! But to finally confirm or deny that phosphane has a biological origin, it will be possible if a space mission is organized. For this purpose, Roscosmos is engaged in the creation of the Venus D project, in which the United States, Japan, and the European Union also participate. An orbiting satellite, a lander, and a small long-lived station are going to be sent to the expedition. The nearest possible windows for the expedition will be only in 2026, 2028, 2029, or 2031. The expedition should start from the Vashtozhny Cosmodrome. The expeditions travel billions of kilometers make us appreciate our native planet because we people are fantastically lucky with the conditions for our existence. We are waiting for many more amazing scientific journeys, which What Is will definitely tell you about. 
What would you like to learn from the world of science and space? Write us in the comments. Your like and subscribe will be the best reward for any research that I've tried very hard to do. If you want to be aware of the most amazing events, subscribe to my Telegram channel and Instagram using the link in the description below. Together, we will create the strongest community of science fans.